It's been a long time coming, but this is the moment Prince Harry finally had his day in court. His action against Mirror Group newspapers is one of several. It has, of course, attracted most of the British media and the international press corps too. Inside, Court 15 was packed. Prince Harry told the court the press have been invading his privacy his entire life. How stories emerged of birthday visits from his mother, how his first serious relationship with Chelsea Davy never stood a chance, and that's why he's hostile to the media. Andrew Green Casey, the barrister representing Mirror Group, said, your hostility predated knowledge about unlawful information gathering. Prince Harry said, yes, that's correct. Itemising particular stories about trips to the pub or Pizza Express, he was asked, and this caused you distress? Prince Harry said, yes. I recall having to leave places like that when I was out and about, trying to have some form of a life and being confronted by photographers. Prince Harry told the court a big part of his current mission is about defending and vindicating his mother. In his written statement to the court, Prince Harry said, there are even eight private investigator payments made in relation to my mother, which I have only learnt of since bringing my claim. This makes me feel physically sick. MGN denies phone hacking and says that, anyway, many of the stories Prince Harry has cited were already in the public domain. In his statement, the Duke said, I'm shocked and appalled at the sheer volume of payments made by MGN titles to private investigators, who are known in this litigation to have used voicemail interception and other unlawful information gathering techniques. I now realise that my acute paranoia of being constantly under surveillance was not misplaced after all. Prince Harry had his day in court and tomorrow he'll have another. Cross-examination by Mirror Group still has some way to go.